That's it. One of them's got an X on it, the nine X, and the other one's just a straight up nine. Here we go. Feature number one here for the Borderline Brawl qualifying features here tonight. Oh, pretty good start for Nevin Ganey on the outside. Who's that joining him? That's Jason Garver, and already you see three wide further back. Three wide right here. Looks like that's Pratt on the inside. Yeah, Pratt looks good. How about it for the Georgia Auto and RV factory stops here. The borderline brawl underway. This qualifying feature presented by Hunt the Front, Cobb Funeral Chapel, Need More Speedway, and Big Frog Transportation. Nevin Ganey in the Fast 41 strokes it out down the back straightaway here. One thing I've noticed so far, uh, it happened in the heat race and then right here again in this feature, Ronnie Newsom's car does not fire off well. Now, he takes a little while to get going. A couple laps in, he's right back up there. Yeah, but it's right there, you know, and, and uh, I don't know how that's going to work for him and, to, you know, in how that will play out for him as the weekend rolls along. But right now, his car... It looks great, really. It, all of them do up in the top five. They all look good. You watch the number nine X of yep. Mike Stallmacher right there to the inside of oh. Newsom, and there's a little contact right there. Stallmacher trying to put the moves on Newsom, and he does. Down the back straightaway, Mike Stallmacher will roll to the inside of Newsom. Newsom will drive it in deep into turns number three and four. Ronnie rolls the top side, Mike Stallnacker down low. Stallnacker followed by Pratt right there. Woo, what a battle. And you got Rich Pratt right there with Mike Stoniker. This is what Nevin Ganey and Jason Garver want to see. And one around, that's going to be the 12 car. In turns number one and two, we got a deck lid on the track. Looks like a shark in the water down there. Yeah, it looks is that the 14 there that got into the 12 of Spencer. And you see our, our sponsor right there, the Cobb Funeral Chapel on the side of car number 77. That's the Cobb Racing Team right there, uh, Mr. Wes Davis. That's what she's saying, I guarantee you. Here we go, folks. The flagman looks them over from the flag stand. Sammy gives them the green flag. We're back under green here at Alltech Raceway. And Nevin Ganey, the leader in the 41, uh, he was given lane choice. He chose the outside line, Whew. and that's going to prevail there. Okay, now look at here. See the 95 in the middle there? That's Tyler Sanders. We have got three former borderline brawl champions racing together in the 11 of Steedley. Gets in the wall and gets right back out of it. Good driving by Quentin. Oh, that is tight. Woo. I'll tell you who's saying, keep on racing back there. That's Nevin Ganey in the fast 41. The four white phenom down the back straightaway. Rolls it off in there, keeps his momentum up. Garver's right there. Here comes that nine car, Stallnacker. Stallnacker being tailed in hot pursuit right there by Newsom. Behind him is Rich Pratt, Tyler Sanders. All right, so we've got the cars all over the speedway racing. Austin, what's your take on things so far? Well, it's been pretty calm so far, but you know, the, the good thing is all these guys know they're in the show tomorrow. So I think the main thing is keep it in one piece. Of course, you want to get us a little bonus here for winning tonight. Sure, sure. $500 on the line for winning here tonight. It pays all the way through the field. So, hey, these guys will at least get some of their, they'll get most of their entry money back here tonight just by running this event. And they all know that they're locked into the show tomorrow, but you want to win. I mean, yeah. you, you, you're trying to adjust on your car through this whole weekend to make it better in race trim and I think that's what we're learning out here tonight is these guys are just trying to figure out what they need and where they need it. Yeah and the good thing is you know 15 laps it kind of you know it helps out you get a little bit of a run going you learn more into these 15 laps I think than you would in a heat race. Yeah I think so you get you get to see this track and another another cycle of change here tonight especially for that last feature the Georgia Auto and RV qualifying feature coming up next the second one here tonight that track will be in into a deeper transition point I wonder if those drivers in that one will learn a little bit more we're watching the battle heat up Ronnie Lee Newsom now making a charge to the front and there's that treacherous wall he spoke about in the Lake City Reporter he reached up and it bit him a little bit yeah so we'll see with this more track time it's going to help them better prepare 
for tomorrow's 50 lapper. Uh, you see one driver really struggling. Blake Clouser has dropped to the back after having a phenomenal Man. run in his heat race. What a tough job, uh, tough break for for Hauser and a great job he did earlier here tonight. But if we look at the top five, they're all running about the same lap times around the speedway at 24-2 for your top three. Ronnie Newsom was a 24 flat that last lap, but he's mired in traffic right now. So everything really hinges on track position when the track slicks off like this. Yeah, and him and Mike Stalnaker were really tight off turn four the last time. Stoniker was able to hold off Newsom, and there you see a little bit of a gap the top three have put on the 11. Rich Pratt back there in fifth. Ooh. Garver, he's in the wall. He was giving everything. He's still in the wall. Yeah, he's still in the wall coming off at two. That opened the door right there for Stallnacker. Here comes Newsom. He's going to try the oh, two no. for one. Wow. Newsom drives into the back of Stallnacker. Stallnacker is going to take that as a bump and run and drive, try to drive to the front. I just knew the nine was going around. Luckily, yeah. he just caught the sheet metal there and wasn't that further really, up on him. That really hurt Newsom. Look Newsom. at this. Yeah, that battle right here, tightening it up for the top spot. That's a brand new medieval chassis, car number 9X. They put it together for this event. Right now, he's wow. looking for the lead. I think that gave Stoniker a shot in the arm. Look at him go. Bump draft in here at Alltech. White flag in the air. It's going to come down to the final lap. Can he get it done from the bottom? He's going to have to pull up behind, Gar or Ganey rather, and see Ganey open it up a little bit down the back stretch. Through turns three and four, Ganey up high, Stoniker one last effort down on the bottom, but it's not going to be enough. Nevin Ganey holds him off to take the win. 